So actually, this is what I was discussing to you about. Aray! Sorry! Dan sorry po! Sorry, sorry po! Sorry po! The surest way to lose the respect of the judge and to show disrespect to the court proceedings is to come to your court date late. Ma'am, Ma sorry po. Nahirapan po kasi akong hanapin yung ADR eh. If you are accused of a crime, maabswelto ka lang if your alibi is acceptable to the court. In this case, hindi ko tinatanggap ang palusot mo. How can you learn court etiquette? Kung dito pa lang sa ating lecture seminar, ay late ka na. Please leave my class. Are you okay? I think we should go to the hospital. I think we should go to the hospital. So we can make sure that there are no really problems with you. Lady Justice! Tama kayo po yun. Eh, hindi nyo na po ba ako natatandaan? Lady Justice? I, I don't know if I'm gonna be flattered with that. But my name is Attorney Simmons. Attorney Meredith Simmons. And I don't tolerate latecomers to my class. Leave! What? Leave! Pero kayo din po yung nagsabi sa akin na para mabuhay sa mundo natin, dapat matapang ka. Dapat lumaban ka. That's right. You should know your worth para hindi ka aabsuhin. Kaya hayaan niyo po sana akong ipagtanggol yung sarili ko. Oh, Lilet. You just turned this boring lecture very exciting. <laughs> so, okay. Defend yourself. But please don't waste our time. Kaya po ako na late dahil may nagligaw po sa akin. What? Are you serious? Talaga bang manghihila ka pababa ng iba just to save yourself from your incompetence? You know what? I'm not taking this lightly, Lilet. Who's your witness then? What's your proof? Ako pa talaga yung gagawin mong sinungaling? Miss Matias, you should realize that you just presented another argument that is too unrelated to your first statement. What was that again? Nahirapan ka lang hanapin yung venue ng lecture. Tapos ngayon, <laughs> may nagligaw sa'yo. Ate, ano ba talaga? Both. Being my classmate, Melissa also goes to this school. And is therefore a credible source of information. Kaya naman naniwala ako na magsasabi siya ng totoo. So, whether sinabi nga ni Melissa ang tamang directions or not, did you verify that statement? Eh, sabi po kasi niya eh. Did you verify your source? Verification attests that. Number one, there is truthfulness in the allegation of the pleading. Number two, the pleading is done in good faith. And number three, there is enough evidence to support the allegation. Nagtiwala lang po ako. Trust. It is important to note that trust alone is not sufficient in your criminal defense. The success of your criminal defense lies in two things. Trust and a comprehensive defense strategy, which you don't have, Ms. Matias. So please leave my class. This is a reminder to everyone to make sure you know the fundamentals of the law. Ito ang magiging armas ninyo para panlaban ninyo sa lahat ng kasong haharapin ninyo. And you, Miss Matias, looks like mukhang marami ka pang bigas na kakainin. Kahit mabuti pa, umalis ka na sa klasiko.